Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm back here home in New York and AirVenture was a blast. Uh, every year I go, I just love it. It's a place to go and hang out and have a good time and talk planes, talk aviation, uh, talk experimental, talk light sport, talk uh, RC, RC airplanes and all kinds of things that go on there with all the, all the vendors and so on and so forth. An awesome time, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. If you haven't been there before, put it in your calendar, folks. You have to go, you would not be disappointed. Trust me when I tell you that, it's an awesome time. Uh, however, we did come back a day early. Uh, Brian and I were supposed to fly back Thursday morning, uh, check out the fireworks, of course, and air show Wednesday night, um, but it was canceled because of bad weather rolling in in Oshkosh, and we came back Wednesday morning instead of Thursday morning. Uh, plus, uh, Thursday morning and towards the afternoon, uh, bad thunderstorms rolling in, in Orange County. So we, the best planning to do uh, was to fly out Wednesday morning, which I missed a whole day. Uh, but it didn't matter because there was bad weather that rolled through Oshkosh anyway. So hopefully next year uh, there will be no rain, lightning, winds going through Oshkosh Wednesday night. It seems like every time some kind of weather comes through, uh, Wednesday night when the fireworks show begins uh, and, the, and a nice air show uh, along with the fireworks. Pretty cool. So I put a video together. I didn't get a lot of video. Uh, there was so much things going on. We had a bad weather day. We had a windy night. Uh, it was just hard to video. Um, I did meet a lot of great people uh, and which was really, really cool to see people out there who actually know me and saw the channel and Facebook. Uh, I, you know, I didn't realize that many people that uh, would be picked out a couple of times. Uh, not like the big guys, but a handful of times was picked out by people and it was really cool and I'm gonna send those guys some shirts. Uh, but yeah, awesome time. Check out Oshkosh, you have to go next year. It's an awesome time. Uh, the video will be put together here in a few seconds. Uh, and, well, it won't take a few seconds. It'll take probably about three hours. Uh, but then I'll get a lot of content. I'll put it together as best I can. Um, Brian does not like to really talk when he's flying. Uh, when it comes to taking off and so on and so forth and because we took off at Orange County we got above there was nothing really to see on the way back uh, we we're above the layer the whole time we fly we flew non-stop from Oshkosh to Orange County about four hours in his Comanche 250. We had a nice 20 knot ish tailwind which was nice to get up there we we're at 11,500 feet with some oxygen so non-stop uh, so I didn't really get too much um, talking as we were rolling out or as we were taxiing. Again, Brian does not like to talk uh, in that high stress environment, which I don't blame him. Uh, so we did not a lot of talking in the cockpit. Uh, I think it's a video on the grounds. I'm going to put it together right now for you. I hope you enjoy it. It's not the best video I've put together because I don't have that much content. I took a lot of pictures uh, for Facebook and um, Instagram. Check out those sites, Pilot Funnel 101 uh, on Instagram and on Facebook. Also, TikTok now, Pilot Fun 101. I have to say, a couple last week, I believe, I hit over 35,000 followers on Facebook. And uh, YouTube is struggling at 4,200 ish. So it's it's very, di I don't understand why uh, Facebook got more than YouTube. Um, it is what it is. Uh, usually it's the other way around. It's much harder to get followers on Facebook and those social media outlets than YouTube. Uh, but thank you for the support. If you like shirts, um, Pilot Fun 101 shirts, uh, mugs, and so on and forth, and hats, check out pilotfun101.com. I do have a website, and uh, I've been putting out orders uh, for a while, and it's been, it's been growing, so thank you for the shirt support. A couple hats went out in the last couple days. Uh, those things will be mailed out Friday, which is tomorrow, if this video is put together by then. So stick around folks, I hope you like the video coming shortly. I'll see you guys in a bit. And the next video will be in the airplane. I am still waiting on my check ride for my IFR. I was canceled twice before Oshkosh because of the weather. Um, so let's see what we could do hopefully soon. I will be in the air with my ticket, my IFR ticket, and we'll bring that to the channel as well. And hopefully a couple more flights with Mike, my instructor. Stick around, hope you enjoyed a video. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Brian, say hi. He's always cranky. So we're at Sheboygan, uh, where the hell are we? Sheboygan, um, Wisconsin. Filling up the Comanche. 
So we just got back from the, uh, the lake, flew over that and get the fuel. And we're gonna head to Oshkosh from here once we top off the tanks. So stick around, enjoy the flight. We're gonna do a flight inside the airplane from here to Oshkosh. And we'll do the, I believe the Frisk arrival. Stick around. Okay, we got 125.9 is the arrival, ATIS. Okay, and the FISC approach is 120.7. Okay. And then we'll depend on what they give what they give us, we'll have we'll have the runway uh, frequency. In the meantime, I'll open this door. Where are we taxing to? Your seatbelt's good? Yep, yeah, good, brother. Like that jet starting up. Alright, which way are we going? 2-2, two, two, straight ahead. Sheboygan, Wisconsin. And we're going into Oshkosh now. We'll see how that turns out. It's a bit busy. We're looking at the traffic coming in here. There's a windsock. Yeah, oh well. So, it looks like runway 13. Came in at two two, right? Yeah. Yeah, one two two, uh, one three. It looks like it's kind of crossing off, crossing on both. Might use a bigger runway. Oh, no, it is a bigger runway, one three. Which way are we going, man? Go no, right. You going three three or two two? I mean two two going? Two two. Yeah, straight ahead, all the way down there. So you're crossing one three and three one now. Four hours at Orange County Airport in New York to get here. Not bad. Remarks. Density altitude 2,300. Sheboygan County Memorial Airport, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Automated weather observation 2218 Zulu. Wind 160 at 10. Peak gusts 16. Visibility 7. Sky condition clear. Temperature 28 Celsius. Dew point 21 Celsius. Altimeter 3000. <laughs> Remarks. Density altitude 2. I shut my door. Yes. All right. So, boy, in traffic, you might just take a long way to food for departure. There we go. Sheboygan traffic, you got a C-34 at 2,000 feet, about 12 miles to north, northeast. It's going to be uh, setting up for a uh, straight in for 2-2, Sheboygan.
green, green, green over here. Uh, we need the ATIS for um, Oshkosh. All right. ATIS arrival, 125.9. It is? Yep, there it is. It's really hazy. Entering left downwind. Hushkosh arrival information, Charlie 215. Zulu weather, winds 2010, zero, 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 visibility 9, sky clear. Temperature 31, 2.21, altimeter 299 or 9 or 9 or. Our nav and VOR runway 27 approach in use. VFR arrival procedures in effect. Huckaway Lake transition in use. Runway 27 and runways 18 right in use. Monitor Oscosh approach frequency 120.7 for runway assignment and frequency. Aircraft assigned runway 18 right, maintain 1800 until entering left downwind. Arrival on some two steps. Okay, Huckaway Lake. Where do we go? Look, look at the picture. Got the tower, got the traffic. High wing. Huckaway Lake. Yeah. Which is what's your VPPP? Yep, VPPLK. Oh my God, there's so many planes out there. We'll be fine. Chris, keep your head on a swivel. Yep. Due to power settings. We're moving like a rocket ship. Flight of two RVs at rip on, uh, request two sub. Arrival at tr tr uh, transition starting point is at 90 knots at 1800.
two upon it. I think I got a little uh, uh, south. Okay, what are the two runway frequencies? I'm going to have those on the bottom ready okay, to go. Okay, we got the uh, 118.5, that is 9 and 27. Mm -hmm. And then we have 26.6, 18 and 36. Okay, you're south of Fisk. South of Ripon, sorry. Come on, relates on. And then come to Fisk, follow the railroad tracks to Fisk. Nice, about to keep going. Okay, I'm the track. You want one eight right or two seven? Two seven. I well, just follow those railroad tracks. That'll put you on the end close right down. Under runway two seven, maintain your altitude till you're beating the runway on the downwind. Then you can descend further. Zero visibility nine, sky clear. Temperature three one, dew point two one. Now temperature two nine or nine or nine or. Our nav and VOR runway two seven approach in use. Why don't you go to twenty three hundred feet? Good. Still dragger over fish. Turn right eastbound. Follow the east-west road. You're going to 18 right. That's if you can't make 90 knots. What's that beeping? Tail dragger. Oh, go ahead and start turning right. I need you to go in. There you go. You're starting to turn it now. Follow that east-west road. You're going to pass south of the airport for a left turn to a left downwind runway. 18 right. RV, you're going to follow that tail dragger that just turned east. Follow him. Turn east. Slow it down. You're going to 18 right. And RV, change your plans. You want to go to 27. You fly off the tracks. You want to go to 27. Negative, I'll go to 1 8. Okay, very good. Motor tire 126.6. 126.6. Tail dragger, motor tire 126.6. And the Cessna over Fisk, the 27 fly the railroad tracks. So it'll put you on a in close right downwind runway 27. Uh, can I do uh, 1 8? Yes, sir, you can. Turn right eastbound, follow that RV and that tail, tail dragger. And you'll be going to 1 8. It'll be a left turn for uh, left downwind or runway 1 8 right. In Modern Tower 126.6. Tra I left less traffic up here. I'm going to try it. And the Bonanza over fish. You want to go to 27? I would like to go to 18. Okay, turn eastbound, follow the east west road. You're going to pass south of the airport for a left turn to a left downwind. We're on runway 18 right. Go ahead and start that turn eastbound. There you go, Bonanza. Motor tower, 126.6. Okay, 26. I gotta go all the way out down now by that lake and come in. Oscar's is over there. Yep. It's on swivel, man. Yep. Which way, which way is 1-8? Uh, one eight is one two six point six. They should have made it one eighteen five because you can remember one eight easy. Yeah, right, right, right. Yep. Twenty six six. And one eighteen five. Two uh, miles south of Fisk. Fisk approach. Bonanza zero five Lima over Rip and flight of two uh, gear down uh, with a Cirrus in trail. Bonanza 05, Lima Roger. Do you have a runway preference, 27 or 18 right? We'd like 27 if that's possible. Expect that. 05, Lima. Looks like a high wing Cessna, maybe with a light on the left uh, wing. Which runway would you like? 18 right. 18 right. All right, make a right turn. 90 degree heading to pick up Fisk Avenue, that's the east-west road. It's and then uh, make sure you're just north of the microwave antenna, maintain altitude until on the other side of the runway, start your downwind and your descent there, and the tower's 26.6. Welcome to Oshkosh. How about my low-wing retractable quarter-mile southwest of Fisk? Which runway would you like? 27. 
All right, uh, don't forget to put your gear down at some point. Continue up the railroad tracks from my low wing over Fisk right now. And main Building over the gravel pit, drop your gear, start the descent. Right, right there's the gravel pit, right there. Thank you, descent. Okay, gasoline, undercarriage. Slow wing over the gravel pit, I need you to descend. That's, that's us. <laughs> Low wing, oh, uh, low wing tail dragger over the gravel pit. Start your descent. Beam the orange dot, start the right base, runway 27, quit a land, green dot, or later. Green dot or later. Oh, you got that green dot. Gasoline, undercarriage, mixture, prop. And the tail dragger, uh, you're going to start that, uh, turn back to the downwind, turn back to the downwind. You're cutting somebody off there. Actually, go ahead and uh, your quota land, 27, green dot, or later. Go ahead and make that right turn. He wants us on the green dot, right? Yep, or later. On the runway, tail dragger turn left into the grass. Welcome to Oshkosh. Runway, turn left into the grass. Welcome to Oshkosh. Follow the flagman. Good job, Brian. Made it to Oshkosh. Made it.
Hey guys, well we made it to Oshkosh, Wisconsin for the EAA Air Venture fly-in. Uh, pretty easy flight, um, pretty much direct. Uh, we hit uh, Orange County to Niagara Falls, took some pictures, and then landed uh, where we landed to get fuel. And we came over here to the Fisk arrival, so it's pretty easy getting in. Um, a lot of editing to do so far on the first day. But just so you guys know, this is the Comanche we flew in. It's a Comanche 250. All right, and then this is my home for five nights. Uh, and then, of course, that's my buddy Brian's tent for five nights as well. Comanche 250. Um, it is Saturday uh, and doesn't really start until Monday. Um, clouds are kind of in the mix of low, high. There's some planes still coming in. Uh, but it's like one of those days where it's kind of like if you can make it in, you make it in because there's low clouds kind of all over the place. So luckily we came in yesterday, uh, Friday night late uh, to get in. Um, so an extra day of fun stuff, I guess. So stick around, enjoy the fun here. I'm going to take a much video, as much video as I can and move forward from there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey folks, so everybody always asks when you're camping out here in Oshkosh, what do you use to shower? You know, you're a real camper, what are you doing? We go to the bathroom and all that fun stuff. Well, Oshkosh provides showers and bathrooms. So the obviously the usual bathroom is the porta potties over there. And then here are the showers. Air conditioning. Just go up. Open the door, make sure it's vacant go in and boom you have a shower that is air conditioning you have hot water cold water bench so hold your towels this is where you shower so it is pretty easy to camp here it's fun and matter of fact I'm maybe 30 yards from this whole area where the showers where the bathrooms are so that's how we do an Oshkosh when you're when you're camping next to your airplane we have showers bathrooms we actually have a little convenience store maybe 30 yards uh, away as well so that's how we do it here in Oshkosh and I also forgot to tell you guys we're going to charge your stuff we have multiple charging stations and this one's happened right next to the showers like went over just a little bit ago and everybody plugs their stuff in so phones, I got my battery charging for my uh, Canon camera. Uh, so you have the charging stations you can use to brush your teeth here. And the other side as well, charging station. Some guys charging their, uh, looks like their Segway right there. Also, what they did add it this year, they, well, they maybe did it last year when it was closed, uh, but they added emergency signs. So I guess if you have an issue, you push the button, tell you where you're at, and help comes. That's new this year. Hey, Come on, get back to Oshkosh! Uh -huh. Good morning, folks. Well, today is the official day of Osh 2021 EAA Air Venture, the biggest flying event in the world. So this is awesome. I had a couple days here, Friday, Saturday, um, and then Sunday. And today is the official day, the 26th of July. So stick around and we'll get some video. We'll get some, hopefully an interview or two. Uh, we'll get the air show and we'll kind of put about three, four videos together for us here. Um, Enjoy the fun. Stick around.
Hey guys, well we got some crazy weather last night that came through Oshkosh. Uh, winds were like 60 miles an hour, some of them. Uh, the warning bells went off and so on and so forth. And still my tent that's raining. And now we just got a hail warning notice. So uh, we'll probably be stuck here for a little bit longer. And hopefully we get no hail. Because that'll damage a lot of planes depending on how big the hail is. So uh, stick around. And we're actually probably going to leave tomorrow, Wednesday morning instead of Thursday morning because at Orange County, on Thursday, the weather kind of stinks. So, uh, see what happens. It's raining so bad that Brian's in a poncho. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, welcome back. We're going to go into the Air Ventrum Museum. Check it out.
Cheer 1 8 right, Osh Tower, Irvin 1 8 right, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff. Back to Papa. Straight out, right? Yeah, 180. For five miles. Yeah, Tower, Cessna 170, ready for takeoff. 18 right. Cessna calling at the uh, approach end of 18 right, runway 18 right, line of weight. Bonanza approaching 18, ready for departure. Bonanza, Roger, hold short. Holding short. There's a Cessna on the uh, you got south your stuff side on? of runway yep. 27, just east of the green dot. Are you on my frequency? Cessna 170, hold short of runway 18, right? Hold it short. Bonanza clear for takeoff, runway 18, right? Understand, Bonanza's clear for 18, right? Affirmative. Nine five nine, Romeo Mike, or correction, Nosh Tower. Are you uh, wanting a two seven or one eight departure? Nine, Romeo Mike, uh, can you accept the intersection? Nine, Romeo Mike, runway two seven at uh, one three, clear for takeoff. Tower, this is a Cessna at 18 right, ready for takeoff. Cessna 170 at uh, 18 right, remain 18 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. That's the that's a different 170. And that was for the 170, not the 172 at 18 right. What the 172 on Alpha hold short. Hold short 172. He's so higher, it's just the only one. Cessna 172 on Alpha, runway 818 right, line up and wait. Line up and wait, Cessna 172. Cessna 172 on Alpha, runway 18 right, clear for takeoff. 172, clear for takeoff. How far we got to go out? At or below 1,300 MSL. Two seven, so how far? Heading two seven zero um, three so we get out of the, so the Delta. All aircraft parting runway 18 right, fly heading 180 through 150 at below 1,300. We're too high. That's all right. Yeah, we're almost out. The uh, black and white RV holding short of 18 right. So we need to head the other way. White RV uh, changed my frequency on uh, one six six point six. One two six point six. The walking one twenty one seven five right. Yep. For departure instructions. The one twenty seven zero zero departure reservation. Contact clearance delivery frequency one one nine point zero five. One two seven zero. Yeah. All right, put that in. That's it. Bottom number two. They probably, they probably will give you. Do they think they'll give you a flight following? Not yet. A oh, flight flight two nine nine five. Black and white RV, Osh Tower. You are on my frequency now. For tower, runway one right, right, clear for takeoff. Yellow Cherokee at uh, runway 13 and 27. Are you on frequency? Roger, and you good for a uh, 27 at 13 departure? White and Yellow Cherokee, runway 27 at uh, 13, clear for takeoff.